So here's our first one. First tree today is the conifer tree. The conifer. Conifer trees. There are several versions of the conifer tree. Here is the first one. With this tree, we draw the trunk first. It's one of the few exceptions. Normally, we draw the foliage first. Here, we're drawing the, the trunk first because this tree has to be straight up and down and I've not found a way to draw it any other way. So we're going to draw this tree on a trunk, sharp piece. I've broken my turquoise down to a piece about this big. All right? And with these trees, they grow a section a year. In fact, uh, in a conifer, you can look at the tree and count the sections of branches and determine its age. And this tree will shoot up a, a anywhere between uh, 10 and 14 inches, or maybe more, every year. So there's always at least an inch, at least an inch, where we don't do anything. We leave the sharp point up there. Then we come down on the trunk, about an inch, and we draw a flag. Just like that. With this tree, this version of conifer A, the branches hang down, so we're angling down with that. Now we don't want to put a branch on the other side in the same spot because that looks too, too perfect. So we're going to come down and do one on the other side, right there, on the left. It's below that one on the other side. Now we drop down again and put another flag with a little piece right there. And that's the start of the tree. From here on now, we're not going to start at the trunk uh, and just do one big stroke. Here, this, these, each of these branches were single stroke branches. Single stroke. Now this one over here is going to be made up of two strokes. Two strokes on that side. We drop down a little further. There's one on this side, see? And this is made up of about two and a half strokes. We're getting a little bigger as we go down. I skip a spot and then draw a little further down. And you can see this one's made up of three or four strokes. On this side, watch, touch, 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 see? I'm just dabbing the chalk on there. Now on this side, setting down and pulling. One stroke, two strokes. Three, four, five. See? A few more strokes each time. Now each time I go back to the, tr I don't go back to the trunk because that means I'll have long stringy branches. I actually build each stroke off the last stroke like this. Watch. Trunk, down, and down, then down and down. Down, stroke, stroke. See? Now on the right side, stroke there, another stroke, another stroke. And I'm hooking on to the last stroke each time. Notice we're filling up the whole trunk area because we have to account for some branches that are growing towards us. Branches just don't grow right and left, they grow towards you as well. See, you pull like this, and as I'm doing this, I'm lifting off of the paper. That's what gives us these sharp, fluffy uh, points that stick up because these branches are hanging down. Go back to the trunk and pull. Back to the trunk and pull, see? And uh, let's do it one more time. Get a bigger branch coming here. Stroke, 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 see? Stroke, 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 see? What we're trying to achieve here is a shape that looks something like this. That's the shape of the branch, blown up. It's widest where it attaches to the trunk. It's small out here, and those ends curl up. The branch is very heavy, hangs down. The ends curl up like this, and there's often pine cones sticking up here on the higher branches. And each time we go back to the trunk, like that, and we build a branch inside of this shape. Okay, on, now let's examine what exactly we're doing here. On this, as we get bigger now, down near the bottom, you're going to be able to see a definite stroke pattern that we're using. On this side of the tree, we spin in this area around a circle about that big. On this side, we also spin in that same circle. But there's a difference. My hand is constantly spinning in this shape. I am setting down at the trunk at about 8 o'clock. 
and I am pulling down and lifting at about four o'clock. Watch, and I'm constantly spinning, but I touch down at eight or nine and lift at four. Watch, set down, touch, pull, set down, pull, watch, touch and pull, touch and pull. See, and I'm, as I'm doing it, I'm just getting, that gives me that curved shape. Here we go again, watch. Set down, curve, turn, see? Until I get this shape. Touch, lift, touch, lift, see? And as I'm lifting, that's what's giving me the fluffy edges that stick up. Now that is on this side. Now, on this side, I spin in this circle. I set down at five, well, let's see, at about four o'clock and I lift about eight o'clock. Here we go again on this side. Am I using a point? No, I'm actually using this whole flat side here. I'm using, I used a point up there. Once I got here, my goal is to try and fill these in a little faster. So I'm using a more of a broad side of that chalk. Okay, on this side again, set down lift. Now that I filled this in, thick, I'm not going to go back to the trunk every single time. I'm going to stay out near here and add to each stroke. You don't go back to the trunk every time. You build the stroke off of the last stroke. See? Touch and lift. And then we put always attach the tree to the ground. You bushes there like that. Now this is the type A conifer. Just list that here. The type A conifer where the branches hang down like this. Let's look at this now on a large scale. Pretend now that this is the trunk. Here is the trunk, okay? We're gonna pick out a spot maybe right in here and demonstrate what, what we're doing. Okay, on this side, we're gonna use a bigger tree, we're gonna use a bigger circle. Up way up here, I used a smaller circle. Down here, that's the size circle I used. It's called the stroke, the stroke. And so, depending on the tree, bigger tree, bigger chalk, bigger stroke, bigger stroke, bigger piece of chalk. So this small one, I'm using this size circle, this size piece of chalk. Now, if this were that same tree blown up big, what I'm doing is this, watch. I start at the trunk, pull down and lift, pull down and lift, down and lift. Down and lift, and I'm working on the shape. Down and lift, down and lift, see? Down and lift, down and lift, till I get the shape I want. This lifting here gives me those points, see? On this side, I hook to the trunk and pull. Now while the branch starts here, it ends down here. Important to recognize that. The branch doesn't come straight out. It starts here, ends down there. It's hanging because it's heavy. Right here. See, touch and lift, touch and lift, touch and lift. 